Hey there, it's Amanda here. Jumping on to do a live today about laundry. I uh, found myself this morning actually appreciating my laundry process. And I guess where I've come from in the past where it was an actual burden and I've resented it, to the point now where life is really easy and I actually quite enjoy laundry, to the point where I think laundry is probably the easiest task in my household when it comes to chores. But I thought I'd share with you what I do to make it so much easier. So this morning I was putting on a load of washing, which I'd kind of put off for a couple of days because the weather has been absolutely crap. Not only is it overcast and dreary, but there's absolutely no wind. So trying to get anything dry, it's just not the weather for laundry. But this morning I realized it doesn't matter what the weather's doing, I've got a backup plan and I know how to sort of get through it anyway, in a way that's easy and effortless. And I guess when I was in the laundry this morning, just putting on a load, I realized one of the reasons I really, really find this process so much easier is because I appreciate the fact that I have a washing machine that does all of the hard work for me. <laughs> I know. We all have washing machines, don't we? So it's the fact that we don't appreciate that the most of the hard work is done by the washing machine. I mean, I'm, I've got to put some clothes in, but it does the cycles and the washing and everything. All I have to do is hang it out and then fold it. <laughs> when you look at it like that, the process is really easy. But there are a couple of things that happen that can really sort of change that. Firstly, it's the amount of loads and the piles that kind of pile up if we don't remain consistent. So the first tip I have is, if you want to make laundry really easy, is to be consistent with your laundry loads. And don't let it pile up, because firstly, when that starts to pile up, the thought of doing laundry just feels even worse. And being consistent means that you don't have to do as much at the end of the week or during the week, and that feels really good. So if you have a consistent routine, knowing how many loads you do, break it up through the week at a time that suits you, makes it so much easier. My second point is to have a weather plan. So I live in a very sunny state and, oh hi Carol, thanks for watching. I live in a really sunny state, so we have sunshine all the time. But when the weather's not great, I still don't rely on the weather. And of course I could use a dryer to wash my, um, to dry my laundry, but I don't like using dryers. Plus my dryer's really old and sometimes it doesn't even work. So I've come up with a wet weather plan so I can do laundry whenever, no matter what. And today, because the weather is really dreary, no wind, I simply put my laundry on a clothes horse and pop it under a fan in the lounge room because you want to have that airflow, otherwise you get that yucky stagnant smell from laundry. It's not always great to have an open window in the middle of winter, but if you just have the air flowing, that's enough to get it dry. And everyone's at school and at work, so I'm just here and getting my laundry <laughs> dry under the fan in the lounge room. And that works for me. Like by the time they come home, it's pretty much dry and I'm done. And all I have to do is fold and put away. Number three is to always follow through. So one of the biggest issues I have with laundry is I tend to forget that I've actually hung the laundry out. So if I put my washing on the, on the washing line, it's at the back of the house, I will forget it's there because I don't see it. So for myself, I have to put it out in front of plain sight. I often do use a clothes horse or an air dryer, if you want to call it that, uh, to put my laundry out so that I can keep track of what I need to do. It's like in my face, I've got that washing that needs to get folded and it's reminding me throughout the day, oh yeah, I need to fold that laundry. And if I get to the end of the day and I still haven't done it, it's right there sort of, okay, the laundry's wanting to be done. And I do it because if I don't, the next time I do a laundry load, I've got to start with folding before I even start with the next load. And that well, it sucks. <laughs> so I like to make sure I follow through on the whole process, get it done, get it dusted. I don't want to have to think about laundry anymore and it makes life so much easier. So there you go. There are my three ways to make laundry as easy as you can. And um, I like to say it's the easiest household chore in my, in my home. I mean, the machine does all the work. <laughs> Let's be honest here. I'm not hand washing this stuff. It's spinning, it's washing, it's doing all the magic. I just have to hang it out and then fold it when it's finished. And that's it. <laughs> when you think of laundry like that, it's not overwhelming. It really can be easier. Of course, there are other ways you can make it far more streamlined, simplified, and do less. And that's another session in itself. I'll have to do another video on that one. And of course, if you'd still like more help with laundry, I do offer a household hero session if you wanted to jump on and um, have a talk about ways we can make life in your home a lot easier with laundry. And that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, hey, Kylie. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.